What's up guys, Kiwi Bro here, back at you with another Call of Duty video and today we are looking at the Black Ops 4 Beta. But firstly we're going to get into uh, my sponsor, we're going to talk about them and some other jibber jabber and then we're going to get straight into the video. Um, my sponsor is ggstore.co.nz, they have the lowest prices on all video games and the most competitive prices across the web. 100% and with my discount code Kiwi Bros, you can go ahead and get yourself a hefty chunk of that price cut off as well along with free shipping on all products now guys uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to join the brotherhood and enjoy the video so firstly we're going to talk about a few things in the gameplay that are really frustrating me with Black Ops 4. The number one thing that is doing my brain in is that the time to kill is so goddamn long. So you basically in any other Call of Duty your health is a hundred so you have health points out of a hundred. In this game this health has been raised to 150. Now, I do not know why they did this, because it has gone and completely changed the dynamic of the game. It is now not so much a twitch shooter, to it's more of a strategic game. You have to play smart, there's no running gunning, because the weapons can't do the damage that they need to. Now also, if you add on top, the armor that you can get playing this game on top of the 150 point health with the lack of half decent weapons to get the kills in this game it is not going to work well I I don't believe they have to lower if they had 100 health like every other bloody Call of Duty and then just brought the damage down a little bit on the weapons and find a nice median that way the armor doesn't become so freaking overpowered that basically to play the game you have to run it then this game is gonna flop now the second thing I'm gonna talk about is that they have copied so many things from so many other games and put it into this game now traditionally Call of Duty has always been 6v6 apart from other specific game modes. Call of Duty has always been 6v6. They have now changed to 5v5 across all game modes just like many other popular titles such as Rainbow Six Siege and I'm not going to get into the rest because that's not what we're here to talk about. Other things um, that they are also I'm not going to say stealing but commandeering from other games is the healing system that you have there's no health regeneration you have to heal yourself and uh, um, on the screen you can see that there's a health cross on the left hand side of that little middle icon that is your heal and you have to apply that now I think this is a just I don't know what what the fuck they're thinking and mind my language guys but this game is really really doing my head in um, I don't understand why they're doing this yes health regeneration across Call of Duty's has been flawed somewhat but has always been a better system than having to apply your own health this basically means that you can get into a fight apply the health gain more health and then kill someone so like you can go in to any battle in this game and you could have the first bullet shot but it does not mean you're going to win the fight and that just changes up the whole dynamic of Call of Duty and I really really don't like it to be perfectly perfectly honest with you now apart from that I mean the game looks alright it barely runs at 60 FPS um, on console which is bloody ridiculous they've been making this game for three years and their beta version cannot run 
at a consistent X 60 FPS. It has not been fully optimized for the console, which is only currently on PS4 and Xbox One at a later date. I just, I don't understand that. What have they been doing? They have had three years to make this game. This and they've come out with this. It doesn't look that good. It really doesn't. I mean, small titles such as Ironside look 10 times better than this game and they're in a beta and they're a free to play game. So I don't know what the fuck Treyarch is doing, but it's not making this game because all it looks like is they've taken Black Ops 3, removed the advanced movement and put in some new maps and that's what you have. It, the art style is exactly the same. The movement apart from advanced movement is exactly the same. The weapons look the damn same. They really haven't tried anything new here. Now I don't know if they're just Treyarch's fault per se. Activision does have a lot of say in what they do. But I don't know what they've been doing for three years. First thing, there's no campaign. There's no campaign but they've been making the game for three years. They have outsourced the PC port to another company and they have outsourced Call of Duty Blackout to another company as well. That's going to be made by Raven who also did Modern Warfare Remastered. So uh, they are basically only working on this multiplayer that you are seeing right now. That is all they're doing. And that is really really unfortunate because basically they've had three years to build this game and it's running like crap the systems don't work properly there's so many OP things and underpowered things nothing is balanced and they have nothing to show for themselves except for a Black Ops 3 with a new logo for three years of work I really <laughs> don't know what they've been doing over at Treyarch uh, but it hasn't been making a game. I think there's been a lot of uh, tossing dicks um, over at Activision, you know, going out for too many parties, um, tossing each other's salad in the back of the room while uh, they just copy and paste Black Ops 3 with uh, a few, you know, a different menu and shit. Um, yeah. Also, another thing. What they have managed to do is to completely overcomplicate the mod system in this game. So you have, obviously you have attachments on your weapons. And as you level up your gun individually, the attachments you get, there's uh, two times attachment, which is a better version of the attachment. Which I don't really understand. Why not just have one version of it come out at a later level of the weapon? Now you also have operator mods and because these are effective in the way that you can only have one operator in each team. So it is yet another thing they've stolen is basically it is hero based. Similar to Overwatch there's only one on each team apart from um, I think one or two selected game modes where it doesn't matter. Um, I think this is stupid. Basically, you are limited to what you can play based on how fast your reactions are to when selecting your operator entering the game, which I find really dumb. I know that if you had, say, four of the same thing, it could be highly overpowered, but in saying that, there's armor that adds extra life to you and makes it even longer to kill, so instead of 10 minutes to kill someone, it's 11. But you know, I just, I just really don't know what's going on in this fucking game, to be perfectly honest. And the last thing, the last, absolute last thing that we're going to talk about, which is abs absolutely ridiculous, and it's just another way to stab the Call of Duty fans right in the fucking back, is that this is the only AAA game releasing this year to have paid DLCs. Every other big title has announced that every DLC is going to be free as long as you purchase the base game. Why have they done this? Because they hate their fans, they hate their players, and they like money. Honestly, I think this season of games 
I'm probably just gonna go try and play Battlefield 5 instead of this and I absolutely despise Battlefield um, but this game looks absolutely trash um, I'm gonna buy an Xbox and I'm gonna play Modern Warfare 2 with the whole 45 other people that play it on my server and never touch a new Call of Duty again because they have just flushed this franchise right down the fucking drain um, they have given us disappointment after disappointment for years upon years and this trend needs to end but anyway guys it is the end of my rant and the end of the information on shit ops 4 um, that I'm going to be calling it from now on um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and as I said at the you know, beginning uh, check out my sponsor I'll leave a link down in the description don't forget to like and subscribe on the video to join the brotherhood um, go ahead and go over and like my Facebook and my Twitter and all of that jazz it's gonna be all down in the description so you can't miss it um, I've been the Kiwi bro and I hate what Call of Duty has come to and I'm out Peace. Taylor about the fucking flex.